So to understand the differences between mud jacking and poly level, it helps to understand why concrete sinks in the first place. There are two main reasons why concrete sinks. Poorly compacted soil beneath a heavy concrete slab causing it to sink and settle over time. And second, the soil beneath the concrete has been washed out by things like rainfall causing it to sink. To fix the problem, both mud jacking and poly level use a similar approach, and that is they both involve injecting material beneath the concrete slab to raise it back up and make it level. Where they're different, and this is the important part, is the type of material used to raise the slab back up and what this means in the long term. In mud jacking, a slurry of water, soil, and cement is injected beneath the slab. Now people have been mud jacking for years and years, and it works for a while, but in the end you're left with the same problem that caused the slab to sink in the first place, which is erosion that will wash away the slurry that was just injected under the slab, and now even more weight from the mudjacking slurry to weigh down on the soil, causing the slab to eventually sink again. Polylevel, on the other hand, was developed to fix the issues with mudjacking by being lightweight and hydrophobic, meaning it doesn't wash away or add a lot of extra weight on the supporting soil. The polyurethane material used in polylevel flows a lot like water when it's injected, then expands to fill voids and raise the concrete slab as it hardens. In fact, polylevel actually compresses the soil as it expands, creating a much more sturdy and stable foundation for the concrete to sit on and providing a much better, longer-lasting solution. 